Our news three investigation continues now into Dane County's failing first responder radio system. The county executive's office confirming to news three a tower problem has been identified. Joe Parisi's office says that may have been causing the first responder radio problems that we've been covering for months now. But as Matthew Simon reports, first responders are saying the county's latest fix hasn't seemed to fix anything. Is that right, Matthew? Right there, Eric and Michelle Stoughton's fire chief is not alone in continuing to report what he says are daily radio problems. Problems which even after the latest county fix, Martin Lammers says he is still afraid to send any one of his 39 volunteer firefighters into a burning building. This system used to work. You know, this was the system that we depended on every day. It worked for us. A few months back, it stopped working for us. We don't know why. The lingering questions plaguing Stoughton Fire Chief Martin Lammers over why his department's radios are consistently not working causes him a concerning pause. Because if, if our firefighters are, uh, say, entering a burning, a burning building and they lose radio communication, um, their lives are in jeopardy. Life and death concerns similar to Blue Mounds Police Chief Andy Rose, who an incident report obtained by News 3 shows his radio failing in November while he held suspects at Taser Point. There seems to have been recently, particularly on the west side of the county, uh, more incidents than in the past. Fire Chief Association President Randall Pickering saying recently not just in Stoughton, but also McFarland, the town of Madison, and Middleton have all had fire and EMS radio failures. In a statement to News 3, County Executive Chief of Staff Josh Westcott says the Madison radio shop has not been able to prove a correlation between the Blue Mounds Tower and the 911 center's equipment. Instead, Westcott says the Mount Horeb Telephone Company found a signal problem on the Blue Mound State Park Tower and fixed it early last Wednesday, similar to a state signal problem fixed here earlier this summer. We really haven't seen any significant improvement. Sometimes we might see that the system doesn't work at all, then it'll all of a sudden mysteriously come on. So we feel that they're doing something, but what that is, you know, we don't know. They're not, they're not real good about sharing what they're doing with us. The county says the last radio signal fix made this better, the one this summer, but the first responders disagree, saying much of this is related to the old, out-of-date system known as the legacy system having to remain online because the new current system called DINGCOM has been repeatedly delayed. The radio failure question likely to be a topic taken up when first responders have their first ever advisory committee meeting tomorrow. All right, well, hopefully we will have an update tomorrow night then as well. Thank you, Matthew.